My friends at Move Electric are all about showcasing every kind of electric transport. You may remember that we went to Brands Hatch and set seven, that's seven lap records. So when Move Electric called me again and offered me the chance to race a Porsche Taycan against some other electric vehicles, I naturally said yes. Not only would I get to drive this 280 kilowatt electric Porsche, but I'd be up against a Citroen Ami, a Super Soco TC Max motorbike, the GoCycle G4 and Escooter SX250 e-bikes, and someone renting an e-scooter. So with the fastest vehicle here today, I reckon I can't possibly lose. James, where are we going? Stratford. Stratford. Yeah, it's a race across London. Okay, I may have spoken too soon. Right, 18 miles of epic action from Move Electric Towers to near the Olympic Stadium in Stratford. Everyone's ready to go except Sam. You've got a helmet and no scooter. Well, Andrew, I've just got to run around the corner to rent an electric scooter from the parking area, so I'm going to run there now. All right, awesome. Here we go then. Three, two, one, go. OK, it wasn't quite a Le Mans standing start, but the Ami's easy access meant Piers was away quickly while the bikers got their safety kit on. I wasn't far behind in the Porsche. Right, we are off. Neil, meanwhile, seemed to take an age to get his helmet and gloves sorted, but he soon made up for that and quickly hunted down the two e-bikes on his Super Soco. Sam had the longest run. He had to go and find a scooter to rent in the high street. So we are on our way. We're going to go north circular. I think they're going to go straight through town, which is 18 miles. This is 32 miles, but in the Porsche Taycan, I reckon it's going to give us a better chance of at least hitting 40 miles an hour. Uh, average speed so far has been about 10, so I could be wrong. It is pouring with rain. So right now, you want to be in this or the Citroen ME. While I headed for the north circular, the other vehicles were all fighting through the heart of the city with mixed results. While Atlanta was getting soaked, Piers took advantage to gain a place. He was clearly thrilled, mm, or not. Meanwhile, Rebecca and Neil were making quick progress on two wheels. It was particularly bad news for the Ami. While it's small, it can't fight past traffic, so Piers spent a lot of time sitting in jams. Still, it's a chance to take a look at the other vehicles in the challenge. So with 280 kilowatts, that's around 375 brake horsepower, the Taycan is easily the most powerful machine here, although I doubt I'll be putting much strain on its electric motors today. Even so, it's really responsive to drive, comfortable and luxurious inside. It's a proper Porsche, this. And because it's electric, it's exempt from London's ultra-low emission zone fees. But it's not the only four-wheeler here today. The Citroen Ami might look like a tiny car, but it's actually classed as a quadricycle. It's designed to offer affordable urban transport for people who don't want a car, but need something more than an e-bike. It's really designed for short trips though, and a top speed of 28 miles per hour means peers will want to avoid any dual carriageways. The Super Soco TC Max that Neil is riding might be the favorite today. It won the best electric motorbike prize at this year's Move Electric Awards, and it's nimble enough to duck around traffic with a top speed of 58 miles per hour and a range of 60 miles. We've got two very different e-bikes taking part. Rebecca is on the GoCycle G4, a folding machine that was designed by a former McLaren and Bentley engineer. Like all e-bikes in the UK, it offers an electric boost at speeds of up to 15 and a half miles per hour, so it's really easy to get up hills. And of course, Rebecca can use all the bike lanes and even take shortcuts through some parks. Also, Rebecca is a proper quick cyclist, although she's from up north, so we're hoping she'll be off her game this close to the Thames. The Escooter SX250 looks more like a moped than a bike, and it sort of is. Basically, it's designed for delivery riders and you don't need a license to ride one. The pedals don't actually power the wheel, but they do engage the motor, up to that 15 and a half miles per hour top speed. We've got Atlanta riding one today who makes a living as a delivery rider, so she'll know how to minimize the time. Finally, we've got Sam on a rental e-scooter. Now, the only e-scooters that are legal for use on public roads are ones being used in rental trials. In London, there are three firms, Lime, Tier, and Dot, and they only operate in some boroughs. There are also several no-go zones where they're not allowed, so Sam might have to be very careful with his route. 
Right, back to the race. My gamble on the North Circular was going well, but Neil and Atlanta were also closing in on the finish. With Rebecca not far off, the race really was wide open. We just pulled off the North Circular. Google Maps said 10 minute delay. Up the slip road over the bridge and it's chocker, so definitely a good move. But it's gonna cost us a bit of time as well, I think. The further into London we got, the more the two wheel vehicles had an advantage, especially the e-bikes that could use cycle routes. And I got so tense at one point, I forgot I was presenting a video. Oh, I can see the pin on the screen. Come on, come on, come on. Where are we? Where are we? Where is it? It's a car park. It's not exactly the Olympic Park, is it? Let's be honest. It's a car park near the Olympic Park. It'll do. There it is. There it is. Oh, no. Neil's beating us. No. We've been beaten by the Super Soco. Oh, gutted. P2 though, I'll take it, I'll take it. <laughs> Congratulations. Thank you very much. So today was about trying to find out what the fastest mode of electric transport was across London. Despite all my extra power, Neil wins on the Super Soco. How was your journey, mate? Well, I'm soaking. My feet are definitely wet, so I was a bit jealous of you during a, a sudden downpour yeah. in the comfort of the Taycan. But yeah, it was great. This was quick around town. There was quite a lot of traffic, but I could filter through all of it. So I got here so early that I've even managed to have my packed lunch. The winner. Who do you think is going to be next? I think it's going to be Rebecca on the go cycle. All right, let's keep our eyes peeled. Well done. There we go. How was that? <laughs> a lot of rain, a lot of sun, a lot of rain to start with. Just tipped it down again. Soaked? <laughs> yeah. But third, and you're, you're only six minutes behind me in the Porsche. That's not what, bad. What would have made the difference? I think I could have beaten you. Yeah? Yeah, I don't know London that well, so there was a lot of roads that I ended up in the traffic and then looked across and I was like, oh, there's a cycle lane over there. Um, so I could have definitely made up those six minutes. All right, maybe I would have been third. I mean, you know, maybe I would have been third at the minute P2. But that, that's our top three. We've got our podium. Yay. Who's next? <laughs> oh, it's Rebecca on the go cycle. Fourth, beating the Ami. <laughs> Rebecca. Hello. You're, you sound a little bit out of breath. You all right? <laughs> yeah. The, uh, <laughs> there was a bit of a rainstorm in Richmond and uh, the motor stopped working. No! So you've had to properly ride it all the way here? Yes, yes. You're still beating the Emmy. Well, I don't think that was too hard, do you? <laughs> all right, well, <laughs> let's see who's going to come last. <laughs> Here he is. Piers, not last in the Ami, but... I'm not, not last! <laughs> no, yeah, we don't know where Sam is, oh. but, um, but you're not first either, I'm afraid, mate. No, uh, well, I try, tried to take direct route straight across town, because this only does 28 miles an hour, but um, unfortunately, everything was snarled up, so it was horrendous, not a good journey. So looking at what was ahead of you, we would rather have a bicycle than a quadricycle? Uh, definitely, yes, I think that's the verdict, yeah. Okay, but yeah. definitely, we'd rather have an Ami than a scooter, because we don't know where Sam is. Has anyone heard from Sam? Uh, Should we maybe head back to Move Electric Towers? I mean, it's been a while. You just go. Oh. Leave him. Hang on a minute. <laughs> <laughs> mate, we were starting to get a bit worried about you. Mate, I thought it. I was going to get lost. <laughs> what happened? Uh, Where's the scooter? Well, well, well. <laughs> Many things. So uh, yeah, got very wet, as I'm sure the others did. They the did, with. except for me. Yeah, you and were fine. Very warm <laughs> Taycan. Yeah. yeah, and then uh, yeah, it was just yeah, just a number of things. Uh, the main thing though was the fact that the East Coast Trail doesn't come this far, so I've just had to walk the last few miles. You made it. Yeah. Well done. Well done. 
So that's it, race over, everyone home safe and sound. No records set today, but it's still been a fun event. If you've enjoyed it, please do like and subscribe to the Move Electric YouTube channel and check out moveelectric.com for all the latest news on e-mobility as well. Time for the journey back now. Let's see if the traffic or the weather can be any worse.